So Donald Trump is once again trying to use the courts, this time the Supreme Court, to cover up his crimes and delay his day of reckoning. Will the Supreme Court give him the assist? Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So Donald Trump is at it again, trying to use the court system to help him get away with criminal conduct This time he's looking to the Supreme Court for assistance. But before we talk about what Donald Trump is trying to pull this time, I have to say that now even hearing the term Supreme Court of the United States brings to mind one word, stench. Not my word, mind you. That was the word Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor chose when she said the following. Will this institution survive the stench that this creates in the public perception that the Constitution and its reading are just political acts? And of course, the this that Justice Sotomayor was referring to is the potential overturning of Roe v. Wade. It's the Supreme Court being on the verge, on the cusp of clawing back from women their constitutional privacy rights, their right to bodily autonomy, their right to choice. That is the stench to which Justice Sotomayor referred. But let's turn to Donald Trump's latest attempt to pull the Supreme Court into his criminal cover-up. Here's how the New York Times is reporting it. Headline, Trump asks Supreme Court to block release of January 6 records. And that article begins, Lawyers for former President Donald Trump ask the Supreme Court to block the release of White House records concerning the January 6th attack on the Capitol, arguing that he had a constitutional right to shield the materials from Congress, even though President Biden declined to invoke executive privilege over them. So let's try to set aside the stench, or at least hold our collective nose, while we talk about what the Supreme Court might do with Donald Trump's attempt to block, or let's call it what it is, hide from the House Select Committee and from we the people, what we all know is very likely to be deeply damaging evidence about his responsibility for the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Why do I say it's very likely to be deeply damaging evidence? Well, if it made Donald Trump look good, he wouldn't be fighting tooth and nail to hide it from us. But I actually don't think the Supreme Court will give Donald Trump the assist with regard to this particular cover-up. And here's why. As bad as the Supreme Court has been on some fronts, it actually hasn't been that bad on the presidential power front. Remember the litigation over Donald Trump's tax returns and financial records? where the Supreme Court essentially said, yeah, president is not a king. Therefore, his tax returns, his financial records are susceptible to a subpoena. And that Supreme Court ruling paved the way for the Manhattan District Attorney to get his hands on Trump's financial documents and tax returns. The Supreme Court, remember, also would not give Donald Trump the assist when his band of corrupt lawyers tried to use the court system to overturn the election results. The Supreme Court would not accept any of those cases for review. So I suspect the Supreme Court will not give a former president at this point, Donald Trump, the assist by ruling that yes, he should be permitted to withhold, to hide, to bury 
deeply damaging information that's being held by the National Archives. So if I had to predict, the Supreme Court will most likely refuse to accept the case for review at all, which would mean the National Archives would deliver the evidence, the information, the records to the House Select Committee. Or I think the second most likely way this will play out is the Supreme Court will accept review of the case and will decide it on the merits and will again say, you know, this president, now a former president, does not control what presidential records do or do not go to Congress as part of Congress's important oversight function to see if they need to legislate to make sure that the next attempt to overturn our democracy does not succeed. But here's the problem with option number two. That will result in a whole bunch of delay. And we all know delay inures to Trump's benefit because he is forever trying to weaponize the delay in the court system and run out whatever clock it is he's laboring under. And if the Supreme Court hands that weapon to Donald Trump, gives him a whole bunch of delay to try to run out the clock yet again, boy, that will be more of the stench of this Supreme Court. Let's hope they don't go that route because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.